Welcome back to Tuesdays with Ty on Power 108.9. Right now, we are. I'm talking to the District Attorney of Fulton County, yeah, Paul yeah. Howard, and the Director of the Conviction Integrity Unit, Amy Maxwell. Yeah, yeah. This, this is going to have a little fun. Haven't y'all been enjoying this interview with them? Some valuable information, but don't stop here. I want y'all to go to Facebook and make sure you follow Fulton County District Attorney's Office. It's all on Facebook. They've got some powerful things going on. So listen, I've got the District Attorney of Fulton County. Woo -woo. Welcome him to the station, Paul Howard. <laughs> and I've got Amy Maxwell, who is the director of the Conviction Integrity Unit. We're going to talk more to them about what's going on in Fulton County and the district attorney's office. Talk about where you're from and then your matriculation to undergrad and you get your uh, law degrees. Well, I'm from uh, Burke County, Georgia, from a little town called Midfield. So I was fortunate that uh, I left Burke County and my mother uh, sent me to Beale County in Macon, Georgia, uh, and uh, I attended uh, high school for one year at Peter G. Applin, and I was lucky enough to get an early admission scholarship, attended Morehouse College. When mm. I started, I was just 15, but while I was there, I turned 16. Wow. Graduated from Morehouse and uh, got a scholarship and attended Emory University Law School. Mm -hmm. And my first job was a job as a prosecutor. And uh, in 1988, yeah. I decided that I wanted to run for public office. Uh, I ran against a guy who had been in that office for 40 years. Uh, but, you know, I thought I had a better idea. I really didn't know anything about running for office. As I always say to people, I work so hard but on election night, I lost the election. Mm -hmm. uh, but what I learned is, is that sometimes when you're trying to do something that is progressive, you might not always succeed the first time. So I tried again in, 1980, in 1992. 92. Still didn't have any money, didn't know a lot about politics, but I ran and I was elected as Solicitor General of the State Court of Fulton County in 1992. So in 1997, I became the first African American district attorney in the 242 year history of the state. I wanted people to know the trajectory and that a lot of times people look at the end result or where you are now, uh, but you went through a lot to get here and kind of on the shoulders. And you, you know, we, you stood on the shoulders of people like him and look at you now and to see him there that night, he would be the keynote speaker. And then that picture of Dr. King with the dog in the car and all those gentlemen that spoke about their wrongful convictions. I mean, it was just like, everybody needs to be here. So thank you for that. Amy, how are you doing? I'm great. You sitting over in the cup, but I'm coming down your rope. I'm hot. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you're the director, so you would be the first director of ever this type of unit being developed in the district attorney's office, correct? Correct. Why is there a need for this type of unit? Well, I think that there's always a need to look at your decisions, right? Okay. And, and the decisions that prosecutors make um, are, are serious. And folks can spend the rest of their lives in prison based on those decisions. So I think it's really important to make sure that we've made the right decision. And what we're looking at is just first, did we make the right decision okay. in prosecuting? And second, did we, is the sentence the correct sentence? Okay. So I think it, it, it's, well, it's important, but it's also very courageous. We as citizens put our faith in the justice system, and then when it's marred, you know, we, we kind of feel like, now what do we do? So, I'm very passionate about the union. To see how the village wrapped around this program, you all were able to use Tyler Perry Studio, and then you had a student from Morehouse talk, you know, it was really good. Well, listen. Uh, Mr. Howard, say hello to the family for me. Thank you all for being here. I think we have to, Amy, thank you. We also yeah. thank you all, the, the Conviction Integrity Unit, for the awesome job that we're that you're doing. Thank you for stopping by to bring awareness and information to this worthy cause of wrongful convictions and that we're not talking about it. 